Hi, teachers and parents. I'm Michelle, founder of Clever Carbon. Our goal at Clever Carbon is to raise carbon footprint literacy in a hip and fun way. We've created some engaging content in the form of Google Slides for teachers or parents to use with their kids to help kids understand what is carbon footprint? How does it apply to my everyday life? How can I make clever carbon decisions? Our youth will have an important role in shaping our future, and we hope to do our part in building a positive one. Keep watching for a quick tutorial on how to use Google Slides and our content. And yes, you can download our fun Zoom backgrounds. Link is in our lesson plan page. Hi everyone, my name is Cece. I'm an education intern here at Clever Carbon, and I'm gonna be taking you through a how-to of using our guide. So I'll start by sharing my screen and showing you the website that has all of the information for our education guide. It has the quiz that we're gonna be using, some materials, the downloads, as well as a bunch of answers to some common questions down below. So we'll start with some framework, which is that our guide is based really on our two-minute Clever Carbon quiz. And I'll show you here, it's linked right in this first second paragraph. And this is a quiz that the students are going to be taking and it will really be guiding our conversation as well. So I'll go through it really quickly, just so you can get a sense of what it looks like. So first it's gonna ask about what country you live in, can you, that kind of stuff. It's gonna pick random answers for now and you can go through it in more depth on your own if you'd like. All right, and after answering these questions, you'll see that we're gonna to get to a slide here, I can put in my name and I'm gonna get some results. So what's important about here, what I wanna show you guys is that at the end of the quiz, students are gonna be able to get their own results by clicking share results here. And this is what we call the Clever Carbon badge. So it has my name, my carbon footprint, and this is CO2 annually. So this is really important just to understand that the quiz is gonna prove the badge at the end so that you can help your students get through the quiz each step of the way. So that's the quiz. I think you saw it had a couple of different sections that we're gonna go into more in depth as we progress with the rest of the guide. So you'll also see down here, we have materials as well as just some outlines. This is generally for students who are in sixth grade or above. Um, it is also really important that students have a device like a laptop, a smartphone, something like that that can access internet. Um, if they don't, they can still participate in the conversation. I will just have you as a teacher guide them through it's a little more help. Uh, it's also supposed to take around 50 or so minutes, um, so it's designed to be around one classroom in length. All right, so why don't we begin by downloading slides, hit the button here. And what we recommend is that teachers make a copy of the slide themselves so that they can make any edits that they feel like is worth for their classroom. So I'll go up here, I'll go file, make a copy of the entire presentation, and just add it to my own drive. And once I'm here, I'll give it a second to load. I have my own copy of the Clever Cardman deck that you can change based on how you feel like it'll best suit your students. So what I'll show you here is that each one of these slides, and you'll notice, has teacher's notes. And what I'll do is go into presentation mode so you can see what it would look like when you were giving a presentation to the students. So I'll go to present with speaker notes. And you'll see that each slide is going to have a little teacher's note that we've written for you down here. So it'll have an estimated time length of the slide. So for example, this beginning slide here, of what's your carbon footprint? We're estimating it's going to take you around 30 seconds to get through. Um, it'll also have the purpose of the slide, so a general description of why we made this slide, what it's supposed to do, as well as just any other notes. Um, and having gone through the slide with deck with some teachers before, any slides you feel like are particularly difficult or things you should know specific to that slide. Okay, so knowing that, we can go through and we'll flip through the presentation together. All right, so the first thing we have is just an agenda to get students into the mindset of carbon footprint. It also just gives you a rundown of kind of what we're gonna be doing today, which is to talk about carbon footprint generally, to do the quiz as a class, to talk about some carbon footprint common items, and just a what's next kind of a general call to action. All right, so this first section, like I said, is basically a small scientific background of what carbon footprint is, what we mean when we say it, and why it's so important. So here we have it's just a couple of slides that talk about the background behind fossil fuels and how they interact with the environment. And these are meant to be pretty lecture-based. So you're describing to the students how this process works and you're answering any questions along the way. It is pretty complicated, right? And this is just giving a general overview. So it's okay if students are not totally comfortable, especially if they're on the younger range. It's really just 
just to give them an idea of what that number means. So you notice for all of them that if I go to the teacher's notes, I can see some kind of explanations. So this one's talking about burning causes greenhouse gases. So we'll talk about how when we burn fossil fuels that produce greenhouse gases, and there's notes on how to talk about that to your students here. All right, and if we keep going, we'll have more of these slides to just give a scientific background. And then we'll arrive at this slide, which is to take the quiz. So we're going to have each student individually take their quiz. They can get their own badge with their name and their carbon footprint annually. So what's really helpful as a teacher is if you are on Zoom, you can share your screen. If you're in person, you can uh, project it so that people can see. But just click the quiz link and walk through it while your students are also doing it. That way they can see you walking through it. If they have any questions about a, a particular section of the quiz, they can ask you. Um, and at the end, when you go through all of it, you'll see you can show them and kind of explain to them, okay, this is where you get your badge, right? You have to click share results. And you can say, this is what your badge means. It's a personalized result that has your number of tons of CO2 annually. It's also really helpful if students are not able on their own to access the device. You can just walk it through and show them kind of what they might have gotten. All right, so we'll go back to the deck. Once students have taken this quiz, we're going to jump into the majority of our conversation, which is the discussion section. So it's set up pretty easily. What we're going to do is basically have students do a quick poll for each section and then have a discussion about that section particularly. So it'll begin with just some general questions of, you know, what was your annual carbon footprint and was it less or more than the US average? And kind of give you a range here, the US is 17.5. And then we'll move on to the first section. So for example, the first section is about commuting. It asked, do you walk or bike more, use public transportation, or use a car? So in this one, what we're going to have them do is you'll go through each section. You'll say, okay, how many people said they walked or biked? We'll have our students raise their hand and do that next for public transportation and car. And so it's a good idea to do that first, and then we can jump into the discussion. So you'll notice that in the discussion, we have our questions highlighted, which one we want to be working on. And this does animate to move through each one. And for your teacher's notes, you'll see that we have instructions, right? So we have time length, purpose, and then we have you read out the question. And then over here are some notes on how you might prompt students to continue their discussion. So if you ask them, for example, what are the sources of carbon footprint when you manufacture a car? So we'll have some students answer if they have an idea. And if not, you can talk a little bit about, okay, well, let's think about the materials that go into a car. You have steel, battery, glass, like where do all those things come from? And so really what you'll see in these kind of unbolded text here is some information on how to get the discussion moving and how to prompt students. So you'll go through a bunch of those. We have the next session is flight, diet, and these are all gonna be run on the same way where we're doing a poll and then a discussion. And then once we move through all of those, we get to what is the end, which is the carbon footprint of common items. So this one's just kind of a fun one where students can see where things compare. So let's say I wanna look at a potato versus beef. So if I'm eating potato versus for dinner versus some beef, what's the carbon footprint of those things? What does it look like? Um, they, they use our QR codes to our website so they can find more of this information as well. And then the final section is just what's next. So these ones are just some calls to actions we want students to take away. So we'll have a reminder just to share your badge that we did at the beginning of the session today with our quiz, to talk to our friends and family about it, and hopefully as well to ask students, you know, what are something you want to be doing differently after today? Are there any tips or takeaways that we can do environmentally to help be more friendly and help be more carbon conscious? So that is the end of our slides. Thank you so much for listening to the guide and how to and of course for using it. If you have any comments and suggestions or questions, feel free to reach out to us and we would love to hear from you.